really comfortable outside so far. We're looking live from our Ephrata Sky Cam, and you can see just a couple of clouds here and there in Ephrata, Lancaster County. Otherwise, not much going on here. 81 degrees, dew points down into the 50s. Anytime the dew points stay in the 50s or lower, we really don't feel it that much. But 60s, 70s, and that's when we really start to feel the humidity being a factor. And we will start to see that, uh, looks like, starting as early as tomorrow afternoon, but mainly Sunday through about the early week. That's when the humidity cranks up. Right now, though, the wind's 15 miles per hour, and that's adding to the comfort that we have uh, temperature-wise. Pretty warm, near 80 degrees in many spots. Actually pretty close to average for this time of the year, but that breeze does uh, help make it feel quite nice to be outside 80 in Lebanon at this hour 79 in Harrisburg at 79 in Sealands Grove as well a lot of low 80s down towards Washington uh, DC and Baltimore you go off to our west with more clouds and a few showers in Pittsburgh Erie are both in the low 70s at this time and here are those clouds and those couple of areas of showers one little pocket of some downpours north of I-80 and some of that might try to skirt by late this evening in our northern counties but I think many uh, most of us will stay dry that is until tonight and that's when we could see some spotty showers Hours. But in the meantime, mainly clear, comfortable, and we'll call it partly sunny to the northwest, but most of us seeing the mainly clear skies this evening. Temperature-wise, 80 down to about 72, eventually down into the low to mid-60s with increasing clouds. Could be a couple of spotty showers overnight as well. Does not look like a widespread deal uh, for us, but uh, certainly the chance is there. Then tomorrow morning, I think we'll wake up to some clouds and a couple of isolated showers on our radar tomorrow morning, and then we'll get back into some sunshine. But that sunshine will actually destabilize the atmosphere once again. So again in the afternoon, there could be a couple of isolated showers popping up. Not going to be a washout tomorrow, but still the chances for us to see some rainfall are there with a few of those showers popping up. Otherwise, it will start to turn pretty warm and it's all of this heat that's just been sitting in the central plains is going to spill over and head eastbound quickly and we'll start that incremental warm up starting tomorrow in the mid 80s and then we go to the 90s. It looks like by about Sunday, but we've got to get through this little weak disturbance that we're tracking right now near the Great Lakes. No real front with it. No real focus. It's just some upper level cooler air that's dragging along some of those showers. So a few of those may try to skirt by our northwest counties later. Otherwise, it's mainly dry this evening. Then the clouds start to move back in here overnight. A couple of spotty showers for us into tomorrow morning. And then we dry out, it looks like temporarily. There could be that isolated shower popping up in the afternoon before this whole system begins to wind down tomorrow evening. Into Sunday, we'll start with sunshine and we will keep it all day long as those highs climb to about 90 degrees on Sunday. And that would be the start of what looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, good chance at a heat wave here. That'll be three days in a row of 90 degrees or more. And right now we're calling for 90 on Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday with dry weather throughout that period. There is another front that's going to be dropping in from the north. It looks like about midweek. We're still working on the timing, uh, the specific timing on that, but that will bring some shower and thunderstorm chances. It'll linger around on Wednesday, Thursday, and also into Friday, cooling things down from the 90s. Now let's get